Welcome to part two on the 1960s mini jet boat. So we picked this thing up last video for 300 bucks. Got it home. It uh, hadn't run in, I think, many, many, many years because it was last registered in 71. So at least wasn't out in the water um, for over 50 years. <laughs> so it's been a while. It looks like they maybe bought it in 68. We found out it had a little, I think it's a six horse Johnson Evinrude engine on it. Um, looking at the comments, at first I thought this was electric start, but this is just where the pull start goes. So I actually got that figured out. And um, what you do is you spring load it and then wrap the rope in there. And uh, it just acts as a pull start. So that's kind of nice. Um, we'll fix that today and make that work. But last video we actually got this thing to run. It ended up being the spark plugs. The spark plugs were all fouled out. So it would run for a little bit, stop, run for a little bit, stop, and all of a sudden it just stopped running all together. So I changed out both plugs and she fired right up. We also did a carb clean last video. We got the gas line hooked up to the gas tank. So everything is good to go. And uh, it actually runs pretty good. Um, one thing we were missing when we first bought it was the throttle cable. We've got a new throttle cable kit coming in the mail today. We're going to be adding to it. So today's plan is to get this thing running reliably. We've got to get the bottom unit of the engine here um, all figured out. A lot of people said in the video that you should change out the water pump and um, that's the plan. But before we do that, I just want to see if it works. So we're going to attach it and just see if it pumps water through the engine. Um, you can see it pumps water through here. And the water pump is actually pretty easy to get to on this thing. It's just right here, this whole unit. Behind this plate right here is where the impeller lies. And when you spin it, the impeller pumps water throughout the engine. So that's how that works. And then this is just the little seal. And then this part right here where it's rubberized is where the water uh, inlet is. So it pumps water up through a tube and then out through the boat right here. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, and this engine actually was modified so that the shaft was, was lower. Typically these engines come with a very long shaft probably out to here. And this slips into the engine. So it's a little different than a standard outboard motor. So I guess without further ado, let's just see if there's any oil in this thing. And we'll try to get this thing fitted up. So our drain bolt's right there. Let's get that cracked. Will there be any oil? coming out of it. Looks pretty gross. We'll crack the top one too. Right up here. As you can see a bunch of oil coming out. Looks pretty gross. It's definitely some old oil in there. Doesn't look milky though, so that's good. A little brown. And we'll put some lower unit oil in here. Now what we're gonna do is pump oil up until it fills up the hole up here and starts pouring out. Pump this in. And we're watching right here when it pours out. Takes quite. 
quite a bit. There's, there's porno right there. See a pour out there? Watch right here. So. So that the bottom doesn't flow as fast. spilling too much of it. Alright. Spin this a couple times. All right, here's the underside of the boat. You can see that's where our lower unit attaches to. Here's the water inlet tube right there. And in here, see how it's kind of keyed in there. So that needs to match up with keys in there so it has to be rotated perfectly to fit in there everything else looks pretty sealed up in there so it looks good I think what we're gonna do is put some silicone right here on this surface so that it seals as well because I don't think there's anything sealing that to there. And then the rudder right here, this goes on the back here. You can see it looks like it was pretty beat up at one point. So we drilled a hole through it and uh, it looks like you can just put a bolt all the way through and that way it won't spin off of it. You can see that goes on there like that. The threads are all stripped but put a bolt through it, it should be fine. All right, so we're gonna put some silicone on the surface right here. I don't think you have to, but just for extra, extra sealant we're going to. Just a little bit. This is marine grade sealant, so. The tricky part has been getting this gasket to not fold down into the area down there. So what I'm going to do is take it out just a little bit. And when that tube presses in there, it should push it in the rest of the way, in theory. So we're going to do it like that. We got everything lined up here.
they're bolting. Got bolts with lock washers on here. Lower units on. All right, now we're gonna work on getting the starter working. So, pull cord is over here. And as you pull it, you can see it springs back. We just have to wind it a lot more so that that rope winds along all the way down to here. So that when you pull it, it winds right back. So this spring right here has to go down into there so that you can twist this 15 times so that the rope retracts onto it. So, try to do that. It's a little tricky getting in there. We gotta tighten that. One hand. So we're holding this. Now when we pull it, it should cool. That's all working. So the water line 
It goes from the engine to the outside of the boat here. You can see the hole right here and you can kind of see the tube coming through. You can see that's all clogged with dirt, it looks like. So we're gonna try to get that uh, that hose, fish through, silicone that, and then clear that out. It was in there. Let's see if we can get a pliers and pull it. It's gonna be a tough one. Come on. Let's We're just gonna blow through this. We took the hose out and then cut a fresh cut right there so we can fit it through that hole. But you can see it's pretty clogged. All right, we finally got this thing to come through. We're just gonna silicone around that. I might put a zip tie and then silicone around that so that it can't pull back through. So I'm just gonna put a zip tie first. See, now it can't pull back through. A little silicone around that. At least that's waterproof now. All right, we've got the boat up here. We've got the hose hooked up to the water intake so that we don't uh, blow up the water pump right away. Um, so we're gonna see if this thing starts up and we'll see if it uh, pees out water through here. That's the goal. All right, we've got the water on. Let's see if it fires up here. It wasn't peeing out anything, so that's not good. Getting water out of there. All right, we're gonna be good. At least it's somewhat pumping. <laughs> That's awesome. So water pump is working. 
All right, so surprisingly, the water pump was working. So we'll probably replace the water pump at some point, um, just because it's been sitting for a while. But at least it's pumping water through the system. No water got in the uh, engine bay here, so that was good. So everything's working good. Um, we're gonna wait for the throttle cable to come, and then we can get the rudder on as well. So everything's working pretty, pretty well here. I'm very surprised. All right, throttle cable came. You can see I routed it from the lever here through the actual steering column here, out through here, and that's a pretty small clearance, but we should be fine. And then routed down into the lever down here. So when we push it, you can see it activates the throttle. And this was actually turned around facing this way before. I turned it around that way so we can get more throttle. So now it goes all the way to there. So we're really revving her out. So that's all hooked up, all good to go. Choke is working. So everything looks good. Pulse starts hooked up. Everything's perfect. We're gonna try to get a gas tank hooked in here. Um, right now I just have this hooked in. So we might try to modify that so that uh, that can work with this. Um, I'm gonna look online for a circular boat pump, see if they have any available. That would be perfect if they, if they did. But um, yeah, right now, that's all we can really use. That's the only tank I have that would fit in this little space right here. All right, I had to make this little stand yesterday for it. So there's carpet on there. Little wheels on the back so I can tow it. Just because the prop sticks so far down, it's hard to uh, trailer it. I was gonna use the jet ski trailer, but it wouldn't fit. There's a bar right in the middle. But we got the rudder on. Here. You can see there's just a bolt going through it. As you can see. So everything is good to go. So we'll start it up one more time just to make sure everything's working. And then we'll take it and uh, take it out for the maiden voyage. All right, we've got it idling perfectly here. Water's coming out. Throttle's working. So everything is working perfectly. Careful, Joe.
charge. What you think? Where is that? Oh, can we just start it up, huh, John? Huh, Johnny? Uh oh. Thank you. Thank you, John. George, look at George. Look at George. Come on.
a little slow, not gonna lie. We should go a little faster. Well, it ran pretty good. The uh, the prop was getting full of weeds, so I came in and cleared them off. And uh, yeah, it doesn't go much faster than what we saw on the GoPro. It's pretty slow, not much speed to it, but running pretty good. Not too bad. Hasn't seen water probably since 1971, so didn't do too bad. I was expecting a lot worse, so I'm happy with it. All right, back on the trailer. All right, well, first ride on this thing went pretty well. It shut off a couple times because uh, it doesn't have a kill switch, so I had to pull up the choke every time to stop it. And uh, I think that flooded it out, so it would take a while to get going. But um, yeah, she ran pretty good. I looked up some other videos online, and it seems like it only goes about that fast, so I, uh, I don't think they're supposed to be <laughs> super fast. And I was really surprised that it uh, actually stayed afloat. I thought for sure it would, would have a leak of some sort somewhere, but uh, everything was good. So that's the video on the 1960s mini jet boat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video, and until next time, we are out.